Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 1st, 2018. So everyone, yesterday we had, um, it was nice to see those bulls come in and kind of defend a little bit, but they just didn't seem to have quite enough energy um, with all of the data and everything coming. Markets, the bulls just seem a tiny bit tentative. So we're holding on to this support, but just clinging to it um, by our fingernails. And right there uh, on the Dow is our current trend. We're hanging on, but we're struggling here um, to, to maintain um, those levels just a little bit. We seem to be just a little bit tentative um, with so much data coming out. And I want to talk about a trader's edge here this morning as soon as we look at some of these index charts because I think it's going to be difficult for anyone to really maintain much of an edge today considering all the data that's coming out. So taking a look at the SPY, you can see the SPY is holding on nicely to um, this support level right here hanging on, hanging on to our current trend and um, looking okay, but also looking for, uh, well, just it's just a little bit tentative here, right here. Um, trying to hang on, just not real sure. And we have some clues of that in other places. Let's take a look at the, the queue. Um, the queues uh, dropped below this level of support and it's going to be critical that we come back above that level of support. And at a bare minimum, hold on to this stronger level of support right here, not drop below that. If, if the bulls um, don't defend here pretty strongly, we could see a quick sell-off in the queues, and we'll want to watch that closely. So hold on to that area, bulls. That's what we want to see. Hang in there. And we should... I, I got to be honest, I was I was kind of hoping that with the good Apple earnings report, we would see a little bit more energy here to um, maybe drive this market higher um, off of this level. But so far, that's not been the case. Um, Asian markets were mixed uh, and mostly down. European markets currently are mixed and mostly down. And so the, the futures are kind of uh, looking at a, well, a flat to bearish open this morning. We're not getting that follow through push that I was kind of hoping for, uh, at least um, yet. Now, we have um, lots of data coming. So first, let's take a quick look at IWM. IWM broke through uh, to the downside this uh, uptrend and now is rallied back right to price resistance. So we'll want to watch the IWM. Um, any failure here could lead us lower. Um, and seems like, uh, unless those bulls really step in, seems like almost a likely um, thing that's going to happen. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm certainly not predicting that. Just, just this rally back did not, did not impress. And um, I'm concerned that that may um, attract more bears in to attack some of these markets. Let's take a, a quick look at the VIX. VIX popped up yet, uh, excuse me, pulled back yesterday. Um, but we're still showing just a little bit of concern, possibly just a little fear. And um, we'll want to keep a really close eye on this because with uh, pressure on the market this morning in the pre-market, we don't want to see uh, that build um, as the day goes along. Let's take a quick look at T21, 22, and notice that the four-week new high, new low ratio moved up nicely yesterday, uh, moved clear up into this range uh, above that 50% zone. So we, we certainly have room to move higher, but we also created a considerable amount of room to move down. And notice we're doing just an awful lot of chopping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, making it very, very challenging for most traders unless you're a pretty quick and experienced trader. It's just challenging. The market just seems tentative, like it's waiting waiting for that big decision on which way it wants to go. And it's difficult to make that decision during an earnings season. 
Um, now, speaking of earnings, uh, let's go back here and realize that we have about 350 companies reporting earnings today, and they're already coming in fast and furious this morning. Lots and lots of earnings reports. So we can expect a kind of a fast market open with a lot of pushing around going on. We also have a huge day in economic reports this morning. We have the motor vehicle sales early this morning, ADP report coming out, PMI manufacturing, and then the big ISM manufacturing number, construction spending, the petroleum status report, and then, of course, the Mac Daddy of them all, the uh, FOMC announcement at 2 o'clock. So what we could um, it, it's not uncommon after uh, a morning rush uh, ahead of an F1C meeting, we see the market just become very light and choppy with um, very little good price action and just kind of bouncing around um, as we wait for that FOMC statement. Once the statement comes out, we can see anything. We've had FOMC announcements that come out and the market just remains dead. We've seen it um, th throw into volatility, great big moves really quickly. So anything is possible. And I want to just point that out with so much data being dumped on the market today. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult to maintain an edge. And one of the things that um, has served me very well over my 28 years of trading and, and now 13 years as a full-time trader is recognizing when I don't have much of an edge. And um, when those times occur, I want to uh, do more in the way of protecting my capital uh, protecting myself um, against the volatility of the market and remembering that you don't have to trade every day to be successful. I'm, I'm living proof of that. There's, uh, there's times when I don't trade at all when I don't feel like I have an edge. And uh, today is one of those days. I really don't feel like there's much edge for us as traders with all this data being dumped and the possibility of whipsaws, quick reversals, those kind of things going on. Um, and sometimes it's better to just stand aside and protect yourself. And today might be one of those days. I, I, I'm not going to say that it will be, um, but today might be one of those days when you just choose to avoid adding additional risk, protect your capital. You see, there, there's something interesting about the market. Rushing bravely into into danger in the market um, gives you no badge of honor. Um, as a matter of fact, what it tends to end up giving you is an empty trading account. So remember that not every day is a good day to trade. And some days it is better to stand aside. Just watch and wait carefully for those better trades to, to come around and that um, edge to return to you as a trader. So be very, very careful. Um, the next few days are going to likely be pretty wild with um, almost 500 companies reporting um, on Thursday and um, then with the big employment number coming out on Friday. So lots for the market to chew on and it could toss this market in a lot of different directions. Now, if you're a, a major volatility trader, if you love that kind of really fast price action, a day trader, this may be just right up your alley. But I can tell you for me, um, in the way I trade, uh, this is this is not my day uh, to be in the market. And I want to uh, be more in on the side of protection and, and um, and staying very focused to price action without bias so that I can be clear minded when um, those trades do come around and things start improving. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, take it for what it's worth. Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just like you. I'm trying to decipher whether or not uh, today is a good day to uh, put risk um, myself at risk in the market. And I just don't see a really good need to be doing that today personally. Um, with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I, I do want to wish you great profits. And um, I hope the very best for everyone out there. And hopefully you are finding some benefit in these videos 
um, trying to uh, put no bias um, in the charts here and just look at the condition of the market. Um, if you do, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I really do appreciate those comments. And also, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. Keep that, keep that trader's edge in mind. And we'll talk to you bright and early Thursday morning. Take care now.